Welcome back to our visualization video series. This is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant, Bentley Systems, bringing you some more visualization news. I have made a post on the visualization community that has two downloads on it. One download is for a new materials DGN Live, which consists of new glass materials that we had to change due to some differences in the Luxology technology that we used to use versus the view technology that we do use now. So we have to replace that DGN Live that is delivered with MicroStation. The other download is uh, ecosystemmaterials.zip. You can see those on my desktop right now. You see a bentleymaterials.zip and an ecosystemmaterials.zip. Go to the visualization community, download those from the post. Then what we want to do is show you how to install these. So we're going to start off by downloading files, then go to the C drive, and we're going to go into program data. If you don't have read-write access to the program data folder, you might have to get your IT department involved to give you access or help you put these files in the correct folders. Program data is a hidden folder. Make sure that you have hidden items turned on in the view tab. Then we'll navigate into program data. We are going to go to the Bentley folder, then go to Connect Shared Content. Now, inside here, what we see is a number of different folders. We see cells for Luminar T. Those are the trees, people, cars, vehicles, things of that nature. That's a cell library that I can use in MicroStation to put in Luminar T proxy objects. And the other things that we used to deliver, like uh, Dosh Designs, Marlin Studios, and XFrog examples. Also inside of that folder, you see a materials folder. That's where we want to go. Let's go into the materials folder. And right down here at the bottom, you see Bentley under bar materials.dgnlib. We're going to replace that file. We have an updated glass palette inside of a new Bentley materials dgnlib. So what I like to do, instead of deleting this file or overwriting it, I like to keep it around just in case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this. I'm going to take the DGN Lib extension off of this, and I'm just going to call it ORIG for original. Now, just because I've renamed this and it's not a DGN Lib anymore, that means it won't run. It's going to be ignored. Now, we're going to open up the Bentley Materials zip file, and there's only one file in there. That's BentleyMaterials.dgnlib. So what we can do is drag and drop that right inside the materials folder. And there we go. BentleyMaterials.dgnlib is in there. That's the one we just downloaded. And then uh, BentleyMaterials.org is my original one. Now, the ecosystems. What we're going to do, I'm going to dismiss the dialog box here for the zip file for the Bentley materials. And then we're going to double click on the ecosystem materials.zip. Inside of here, you see a whole bunch of files. These are the material files. We also see a DGN lib, and we also see a PDF, and that's a PDF on how to install this stuff. So I'm going to grab the PDF and the DGN lib, and I'm going to drag and drop them in the same place I put the Bentley materials DGN lib. Because this has a DGN Live extension on it, it's automatically going to be run and it's automatically going to be recognized by MicroStation. The other thing that we have to do is we have to bring the material files and put those in a correct folder. So I'm going to highlight all these files. I'm going to uncheck the DGN Live and I'm going to uncheck the PDF. And then I'm going to go over here to my materials folder. I'm going to put the materials in the imported folder. We'll eventually find a place for these that exist on the install. But for right now, you can throw them in the imported folder, drag and drop it to the imported folder. It'll copy all of these files over there. And these are rather large, 2.6 gigabytes in size altogether. But I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with our ecosystem and how realistic they are. And that's all you have to do to get these running. 
we can go ahead and close this zip file here. And we have our materials in place. We go back one folder and we have our DGN Libs in place and also the instructions on how to do this. After installing the new materials and restarting MicroStation, we can now see the libraries in the Open Palette dialog, which means we can load them into the Materials Manager. Thanks for watching. I urge you to uh, keep looking for new videos on our visualization video series. Thanks a lot, everybody. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.